Is there life outside of our planet? It's a question that's been asked countless times. Space agencies like NASA have done a great job at discovering new planets, and some of these have a similar layout to Earth, meaning that there's a possibility that it could hold complex life. It's these discoveries that have caused us to explore certain regions more. Interestingly though, we don't have to travel far to find possible life, as scientists and researchers have said that other complex life forms could actually be within our very own solar system. One place that's of particular interest is that of Jupiter's moon Europa. Due to this moon being of high interest, space agencies have said they want to send rovers to this moon, and this is for the sole purpose of finding out if there's life in its vast oceans. Known as the Europa Lander Mission, NASA scientists theorise that the most likely candidate for life to be found in our solar system is expected to be within the icy surface of Europa, due to the expectation of the moon holding vast amounts of water beneath the frozen surface. Data surrounding Europa states that the moon holds a vast salty ocean of water, similar to our oceans on Earth. This giant ocean is said to span the moon's entire globe, Additionally, due to the frozen surface, scientists expect the conditions of the water to be favourable, as the ice surface acts as a natural atmosphere barrier against radiation, similar to our electromagnetic field, giving life desirable conditions to flourish without its deep oceans. NASA plans on sending a Europa rover to the moon in an attempt to penetrate its surface, and collect samples more than 4 inches deep to better understand the complex chemistry of materials from the ocean below. Efforts are already being made by NASA engineers to design a rover similar to the Martian rovers, and these will carry military laboratories within the lander to analyse samples, but with the addition of an onboard chemical analysis lamp, and this would be able to hold microscopic cameras for the analysation of bacterial microbial life. Although the project is still in its conceptual stages, it holds high promise in the search for extraterrestrial life, and seems to be of growing priority in the coming years. Interestingly, this isn't just fancy either. A British scientist has come forward and said that it's almost a certainty that Jupiter's moon Europa is home to alien life, but they noted that these creatures could look similar to the octopus that we have on planet Earth. The researcher behind the comments is that of Monica Grady, who's currently at the Liverpool Hope University. As mentioned, this vast ocean that can be found underneath Europa is a prime candidate for otherworldly life. It's not just Europa that they suspect life could be teeming. They went on to express how they think that deep caverns and caves on Mars could also be hiding complex life. Monica Grady said the following about the possibility of there being life on Europa. When it comes to the prospects of life beyond Earth, it's almost a racing certainty that there's life beneath the ice on Europa. Elsewhere, if there's going to be life on Mars, it's going to be underneath the surface of the planet. There you're protected from solar radiation, and that means that there's a possibility of ice remaining in the pores of the rocks, which could act as a source of water. If there's something on Mars, it's likely to be very small, something like bacteria. But I think we've got a better chance of having slightly higher forms of life on Europa, perhaps similar to the intelligence of an octopus. Many have praised the scientists for making these kinds of comments. After all, when it comes to scientists and otherworldly life, we don't usually get an open response such as this one. They usually shy away and say there's a very low chance of there being life on other planets, so many noted that it's a nice change to hear a scientist be open to the idea of there being life on moons such as Europa. The octopus is one of the most recognisable creatures, but it's a creature that's shrouded in mystery. Over the years, many different researchers have expressed their interest in these creatures, and have said that their makeup is fascinating. Recently, scientists have discovered the octopus, Squid and any other cephalopod evolve completely different from nearly every other organism on the planet. Scientists have always known these creatures were a bit different, 
but a recent study has shown that some species are able to edit their RNA sequences on demand to adapt to their environment. This has baffled some researchers. When an organism changes, it starts with a genetic mutation. This can be due to change in the DNA of said animal. These changes are then put into place by RNA. Going back to the study, it was discovered that a squid had edited over 60% of RNA in its nervous system. This meant this creature was able to adapt to wherever it was at any given time. It's like us being able to adapt to living in the desert and then the Antarctic in a matter of seconds. This study also showed researchers that octopus and cuttlefish can do the same thing. This isn't the only interesting discovery to come from our oceans. Another creature of interest and one that could change our understanding is that of the scarlet jellyfish. The scarlet jellyfish is an incredible species that's able to restart their life. When these creatures have sustained damage, they will start to make their way to the bottom of the ocean. Once here, they'll start the process of turning back into a juvenile form of a jellyfish. After this, they'll spend around three months growing back into an adult. After this, they'll carry on their life until they get injured again. Incredibly, researchers have witnessed one jellyfish performing this cycle 12 times. Due to the immortal jellyfish's capability of biological immortality, pharmaceutical research has taken an interest in this creature. It could potentially mean that sometime in the future we'll be able to harness this ability. It's due to these otherworldly abilities that some have put forward the idea that octopus and jellyfish didn't originate from this planet, and that they were somehow transported here. One idea is that their eggs could have travelled vast distances and arrived on our planet from an asteroid. Although this may sound far-fetched, the shield shrimp eggs are able to last for many years. They lay eggs and if the conditions aren't right, they'll stay on hatch for up to seven years. When there's a right amount of water, the thousands of eggs will come to life. As of right now, the Europa lander is still in its early stages with NASA working hard in order to get this mission sent to the icy moon. The idea is that if everything goes to plan, the mission should be launched around 2025. NASA said the following on their website. The moon is thought to contain a global ocean of salty water beneath its frozen crust. And if life exists in that ocean, signs of its existence, called biosignatures could potentially find their way to the surface where a spacecraft could sample and study them. So what do you guys make of the claims that there could be life underneath the icy crust? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.